what is going on what is going on why minus love what when why how flirty flirty spouse <gasps> what the freak is this hey so guys welcome back to some more sims 4 spin the wheel where we are going to be continuing from the last episode my game's a little laggy it likes to be like this when i start recording if you did miss the last episode let me catch you up to speed we ended up adopting another child this is cadence she is our newest addition to the family wait how many kids do we have one two three four five six seven seven kids that's so fun. Layla also ended up hooking up with a mysterious Zoran, who is actually the husband of a main who came to our toddler play date. So we know both the husband and wife and we ended up cheating on Caleb again because Layla is a terrible person and I'm contemplating if we should invite Zorin and Amain to our little Harvest Fest get together you know just for some extra drama and right at the end of the last episode I built us a bowling alley because we spun it and honestly the vibes are vibing like it looks so cool down here so yeah the kids can come down and bowl and just have a good time. Now, since my game's being a little laggy, I kind of want to start this video with a spin. So let's do that. Okay, let's see what we're doing at the beginning of today's video. Hopefully it's nothing too major. <gasps> Ooh, we get to adopt a pet. I do already have prepared a pet wheel. So let's give it a spin and see what we're getting the kids. This will mostly be a pet for the kids. Oh. <gasps> Oh my gosh, we're getting a horse? Okay, so we've got to get a horse. Luckily, we already have like a stable station for our horse. But I do need to sort out this garden area because our bowling alley did end up making a bit of a dent. So I think we're going to keep the garden on this side and then we're going to have to get like a gate over here so Sims can actually go through. You know what? I might get Caleb to come and sell like some of this produce before we get rid of this garden. So if I get him to just sell all crops, then that should give us a little extra money, a little extra spending money as well. So you just sell all of this i might have to teleport you over there because i don't know how you're gonna get there okay this is making us like decent money which is nice i did say we would sell this stuff in like when we're in a pinch in terms of money so this is pretty good and caleb is now gardening level three which is great okay so that's everything i'm gonna get you to go back over here and now let me sort out this mess of a layout because of this dumb like middle bit like i didn't realize this when i was building the bowling alley but it really made a mess of our garden so i'll add a little gate just over here so the horse and the kids can have access and i also want to try and get some stairs down here so you don't have to go all the way around to get to this area okay cool hopefully the sims can access over here now i don't think i have to do anything to this bit because it's already ready set for the horse okay well i guess caleb do you want to go and get the horse maybe we should use the computer for this household adopt a adopt a oh should we rescue a horse or purchase a horse i think we'll rescue a horse because it's not like we're going to be doing like a question riding or anything this is just a horse for the kids to learn riding horse riding i guess oh and we are in the perfect world for this so they can all learn horse riding oh there's someone pregnant over there okay we've got a few options oh should we get a baby horse a little foal or should we get oh we've got some elder horses oh no we have some adult horses as well oh wait i should probably spin this on a wheel right i added all of the horse names to this wheel now let's see what horse we are going to adopt i'm kind of hoping it's not an elder because then they're gonna die soon. Okay, Dandelion. Dandelion is an elder. Okay. <laughs> well, you know what? Welcome to the family, Dandelion. I think Caleb's gonna go out and get you. While Layla stays home and looks after the household, our listing, our kawaii princess listing expired. Let's go ahead and put that back on trendy. Oh, we've got one that's sold. Okay, let's ship that first. How's your energy? Your energy's really good. Yeah, we've got to get ready for Harvest Fest. <gasps> oh, and a lily. A lily won the lottery. Lily Zoo. I don't know which lily this is, but it's not our lily. Okay, it's always exciting to welcome home a new horse to the household. This horse is going to need a name. We're going to change your last name 
And yeah, Dandelion Tyler, welcome. No, why does Layla want to have another child? Is she okay? You already have seven. Okay, where's the little Dandelion? Oh my gosh, you're so cute. Should we bring you into Cass and see what you look like? Okay, you are so cute. Oh, where did your little hat go? Oh, wait, there it is. So this is your everyday. I'm thinking we might have to get rid of the bow. Oh, I got rid of both the bow and the hat. You know, I'll put the hat back on. The hat was kind of cute. And then for your riding outfit, let's make this look a little bit more cohesive. Okay, Dandelion, you're such a beautiful horse. Why do you look so sad? I know our household is pretty big. I apologize. Look how sad he looks. Oh wait, I didn't even check if Dandelion is a male or a female. And I can't even check it in cast because we have such a big household. It won't show in the top left corner. Okay, Dandelion, welcome home. Let's actually set this as your bed. Assign bed Dandelion. And let's actually see if the kids can get to this area. So Cadence, where are you? Oh wait, are you going down the stairs? Do they work? Okay, nice. And then why don't you call over dandelion can you get over there <gasps> okay you can nice i think i'm gonna lock the front door for dandelion because i'm not trying to have this horse be inside the house so lock door for all horses okay cute kids come and meet your new horse you all have to take turns looking after her Oh, wait, are you a her? I didn't even check. Oh, yeah, you are. You're a mare. Independent, defiant, and a free spirit. Okay, so she's a little bit sassy, but you know what? We love that. So you all are gonna go and meet Miss Dandelion. Oh my gosh, why is there just sushi out on the table? It's gonna go off soon. Layla, do you want us like start preparing for Harvest Fest? Maybe we should do a dinner party and you know what i do want chaos so i'm inviting oh should i you know what no i don't want to do that to caleb should i invite zorin because he's probably gonna kiss layla in front of everyone and that's really awkward you know we'll invite bess you know she gave us what 25k that's amazing we'll just invite some random people that we know some people from our club you know what we're inviting them I, I decided we're inviting them. We want chaos. We want drama. We're going to do it here and we're going to do it at 3 p.m. So we've got to get ready for it. Maybe we can make some dinner and dessert. First, you need a little shower. You know, go take a bath. We need to put up decorations. Is there a decorations box anywhere? I don't know if there is. I feel like there should be, right? Okay, I'm going to buy us one. Where am I going to put this thing? You know, I'm going to put it right in this corner. So it's like kind of tucked away. Oh, actually, I did see some of you guys suggested that I change this greenhouse into some more bedrooms, which is such a cool idea. Maybe this can be the bedroom for all four kids. And then, because I kind of like the whole summer camp vibe. Like they have their bunk beds like this. And it's kind of cozy. And then we turn this room into like an office. Or maybe we save this room for when Coleman becomes a teen. So he gets his own room. But I'm not going to do it right now. So I might do it either at the end of this episode or before the next episode, potentially. But okay, let's put up the decorations. <gasps> Cute. Oh, and I totally forgot. I downloaded some more like mermaid CC for Layla. So I might give her like an updated mermaid look at some point in the near future. Okay, triplets, how are you guys doing? You're all in your beds. You two are a little hungry. So let's get the nanny wherever she is to feed you. Caleb, do you wanna feed child number two? And then the last infant isn't very hungry. Okay, and kids, what are you guys doing? Did you guys meet the new horse? Are you playing with Cody? That's so sweet. Oh my gosh. I wonder which one of the kids are gonna like take up horse riding. Oh, Layla's here checking in on those two. But yeah, which one of the kids do you guys think will take up horse riding? I'm thinking maybe Cadence. Since she was really into gardening, maybe horse riding. It's kind of a thing she wants to try out. Hey, are you being a little brat? Oh my gosh. Oh, you're tired. Okay, go to sleep. You're literally in your bed. <gasps> what the freak is this? <laughs> it's happening. Zorin Barreto is so utterly smitten with Layla that he is proposing marriage. What? No. Guys, guys. And you know I'm gonna have to put this on a wheel. You already know. It's been a little while, but the yes or no wheel is back. If this wheel says yes, I... <laughs> I don't even know what I'm gonna do. That means we will be engaged even though we're already married. This series is such a mess. Okay, but let's spin. <laughs> let's see if Layla is... No, no. 
Oh my gosh, we're engaged. The party hasn't even started yet and there's already drama. Okay, you know what? Of course, we spun it. We've got to say yes. Now we are engaged to Zoran. How did this happen? Does that mean we've got to get married? And you're also married. How is this going to work? How are we engaged? You're super excited about this. And you guys are just talking in the hallway while Caleb's in the other room looking after the triplets. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, Zorin, can you like hide? Because I can't let Caleb know. You know, I don't, what do I, where do I go from here? Like, what do I say? What do I do? Do I get married? Do I divorce Caleb? Like, I don't know. Caleb's over here looking after the triplets being such a good dad caleb your life actually sucks i know you live for eternity but layla's making this like super difficult for you and the dinner party starting in an hour okay layla i'm gonna need you to stop talking to zoran and focus on cooking so let's cook a gourmet meal um what is the best meal we can make oh we should make like a starter so some butternut squash and then we will make the grand meal and i don't know if we're gonna have time to make any dessert i can't believe we're engaged like what the hell that's so like out of pocket that's so out of pocket and caleb really has no clue look at him all happy my pride and joy from watching milestone like he's watching his kids grow up he's looking after his kids caleb i'm so sorry this is the second time this has happened i'm so sorry you deserve the world and not layla like let me get a caleb you know okay the dinner party is starting time for the chaos to begin are you almost done okay you're finished with the pumpkin soup Let's cook a grand meal. We'll do, oh, is any of these lactose intolerant? Oh, I think all of these options are lactose free, which is really good. Let's do a ham dinner. I feel like that's what Americans have on Thanksgiving, right? Or is it turkey? I don't know. <laughs> but this pumpkin soup looks delicious, very fancy. I'm gonna keep that in your inventory. Does one of the kids wanna set the table? Laurie, come and set the table with fancy settings. Let's do some triangles. Guys, should I get Caleb to introduce himself to Zorin like he doesn't know that he is engaged to his wife oh my gosh are these two gonna kiss too see like what is this mess this love square if Layla and Zorin end up happening I'm gonna make Caleb and Emane like get together because that would just be like swapping fiancés I'm not fiancés like married partners this is so awkward why are you guys doing this in the bathroom by the way Wow, who is this? What child is this? Jacob, Jacob's getting a bath. Layla, is the food ready yet? It's almost ready. Whoa, look at the fit though. Layla's looking great. Hey, Emane, don't eat the cake. I'm literally cooking. No way. Why is Lily dressed all fancy like she's a part of the occasion? Who's gonna tell her? Did Laurie set the table? She didn't even finish. Laurie, why, why is this like not done properly? You had one job. Just do it well. Okay, the food is ready. Hey, put that away. We earned some money from our day off. And let's set up the table. We'll put the pumpkin one over here. And then you've got the ham in your hand. I'll put that. No, don't eat any. No one eat any. I'll put this on the table as well. And I'm just going to get everyone to come and eat. Let's call to grand meal. And let this awkward dinner commence. This is like Gossip Girl, where like the Thanksgiving episodes are crazy intense. Like everything is revealed at Thanksgiving. Oh my gosh, and Leanne is pregnant. Congratulations. Okay, everyone is taking a plate and sitting down. I don't think Caleb's gonna take a plate because, you know, he's a vamp. But okay, do you guys wanna... I, I don't think there's enough seats. There really isn't, but I think that's okay. Amain, I'm so sorry I took your husband. No way is this guy sitting next to us like that, right in front of his wife. Oh my gosh. These two are like, maybe they're made for each other. They're both terrible people. And Layla has been wanting to have another child. So maybe she wants to have another child with someone new. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, this is so awkward. No one is saying a thing. Is no one sitting around the table? We did all of this and no one's sitting around the table. Wow. What the heck, guys? Where is everyone? Oh, Caleb and his AA meeting is going well successfully resisted drinking deeply for three days good work buddy you are feeling a little thirsty why don't you have some plasma packs everyone else is eating you deserve to eat too and cadence likes kids radio music which is understandable you are a child why do you stink go and like take a shower you know what i'm gonna have to get rid of this hopscotch because the kids are literally obsessed with it and they won't do anything else but play so i'm gonna get rid of it and maybe one of them will show some interest in their brand new horse 
Who has run away? Where the hell is Dandelion? You're all the way over here. <laughs> oh, I didn't get you a ball. Okay, that makes sense. I totally forgot that's a thing you need. But it's nice to know there's one all the way over here. Okay, you want to play violin? No, go and take a shower. And then everyone, oh my gosh, you two are sitting next to each other now. <gasps> what is going on? What is going on? Why? Minus love. What, when, why, how? Flirty flirty spouse huh? caleb is flirting with with who what what is going on oh my gosh caleb finds layla unattractive how did i not know this and layla's sentiment about caleb is deeply wounded who did he flirt with caleb what are you doing isn't this supposed to be the other way around? Did he flirt with Amain? I am so confused. Layla's really mad at Caleb because apparently he flirted with someone. I leave for like two seconds to go and look after the kids and you guys are getting angry at each other. Oh, Zoran's very flirty. Why are you so flirty? And why are you guys so buddy buddy? Caleb, this man is taking your wife away. Nanny, what is the infant doing out of the nursery? You know they're locked to that room. You are being, okay, you're putting him back in his crib. Good. How are you guys? You you are a little hungry. Let's wake you up and ask the nanny for some food. <gasps> what was that love heart? Zorin, Zorin and Caleb. Zorin is crazy. Oh my gosh. Guys, I'm not doing any of this. Zorin has romance with Caleb now. What is going on? He's engaged to Layla. He's flirting with Caleb. Is he just here? Is he a plant to just ruin this marriage? Because he's flirting with both of us. This is so messy. Okay, Zorin, you are a problem. I don't know what we're supposed to do. Oh, why can we elope with Zorin? Even though we're already married. I don't know, but this is messy. Caleb, can you tell Zorin that you just want to be friends? And Amain, can you get your man under control? He is flirting with everyone. Oh my gosh, we can ask to be Zorin's sim of honor. Bro, do you know who he's engaged to? Why are you asking that? <laughs> Congratulate on engagement. Oh, Jesus. Okay, let's ask to just be friends if I can find that option. Deep thought, ask to just be friends. Yeah, no more flirting, please. Where is Amain in all of this? Like, she she doesn't even know any of this is happening. She's out here fixing our garden. Amain is such a sweetheart. She doesn't even know her husband is utter trash. I thought Layla was the worst person in this series, but Zorin, you take the cake. Layla, what are you doing with a baby in your hand? What what do you want? Who is this, Carlos? No, it's Tyrone. Put Tyrone back. And this was a gold medal dinner party for how? How? Okay, well, that was probably the messiest dinner party I've ever had <laughs> in The Sims 4. That was insane. I'm gonna put all this food away. So we've got food for days. Oh, and Laurie's playing the violin. Okay. She saw Cadence play it and she wanted to try it herself. Oh, and she lost a tooth. Oh, she has a loose tooth. Oh no, she lost her loose tooth. Oh my gosh, let's see. Oh, she's going to bed. Okay, well maybe we'll see it when she talks. Yeah, it is 9 p.m. And all of you have school tomorrow. I think Cadence is in bed. Oh, all the kids are in bed before 10 p.m. <gasps> you kids are so good. Cody has been sleeping the entire day. So he's going to be up all night. Layla doesn't even care that she just ruined her marriage. She is getting down with the kids music. The question is, where do we go from here with Layla and Caleb? Their romance and friendship have gone down a little bit, which sucks because they were such a power couple. Like I literally loved them. After all the cheating stuff with Victor and everything, they became such a power couple and had so many kids and moved worlds. And now it's just all gone down the drain. Oh my gosh, look at Cody dancing. Aww. He's so freaking cute. Do you want to max a skill before you age up? When do you age up? You age up in five days. Okay, so we have some time. Do you want to go and play dolls? Oh my gosh, there's toys on the kitchen sink. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, does someone want to get dandelion? They're like all the way out here. Layla, do you want to come and call Dandelion? Or just call her over to like the pen area because she's so far away. But okay, I actually have no clue what I want to do with the whole Victor, not Victor, oh my gosh. The whole Caleb situation. It's just a little bit of a mess, honestly. You never know, maybe the wheel will do it for us. You know what, why not add some fuel to the fire? You know, let's just spin again after Thanksgiving. Ooh, renovate a room. So now I can renovate the greenhouse. I think I'm gonna renovate it for all of the kids. 
and then once Coleman is a teen we can give him his own room you know some privacy I think that would be nice so I'm gonna get rid of all of this stuff this greenhouse is really cute by the way I know a lot of you guys want me to get a pool but literally we have no space for a pool I guess I could get one here oh you know what maybe I should do a pool and get rid of the garden pools are also really expensive so I'll see how much I have left after this renovation oops I deleted the entire room <laughs> Okay, so I just finished up the kids room. It's pretty big to be honest like it's pretty huge I put quite a few things in here they've even got their own gaming area they've got their study slash uh what's it called computer area their little reading nook they've got another study area over here this is Coleman's bed and then we've got Cadence's bed and we've got Laurie's and then over here is Cody's bed so it's kind of vibey it's kind of nice there are no curtains but I think I'm gonna keep it that way because I kind of like the vibe now we have just under 4,000 some Simoleons. I don't know if we're gonna have enough for a pool. Let me see how big could this pool be? It would be this size Which I mean, it's not that big I might wait until we have a little bit more money until we make this area into a pool area And then we've got the old room which is completely empty and we're keeping it empty until Coleman's a teen And I know what some of you guys are thinking why don't you just give Coleman his own room now? Well, he's got some time until he's a teen and I think it's nice for him to be with the other kids, you know? I don't want him to be separated. But once he's a teen, I definitely think he'll need his own space. And also, I'm thinking once each of the children age up into teens, we spin an aesthetic wheel so each child has their own aesthetic. I think that could be really fun. But okay, kids, do you want to go and have a look at your new room? It's kind of far away from all the bathrooms. But you know what? It's actually pretty cool. It's kind of cozy. Where's Coty? Coty, you need to. Oh, you need to be potty trained. I don't think. Do we have any potties in this house? We do not. Let me quickly go and grab us one. Maybe we can get the nanny to potty train you. What is she currently doing? Who do you have? Tyrone? Yeah, put Tyrone down and come and potty train Cotty. Layla, what are you doing? You're gonna go and play video games in the kids area. Oh yeah, she does like gaming. And the kids are actually really enjoying this room. Oh, I love that. Oh my gosh, what the hell? What was that? Why did she lift off like that? Oh Jesus. Okay, Laurie's playing the violin. I feel like Laurie gets a lot of inspiration from Cadence because once Cadence does something, Laurie does the same thing a little later. It's possible that she looks up to Cadence. You know, Cadence starts gardening, then Laurie starts gardening. Cadence starts playing the violin, then Laurie starts playing the violin. It's kind of cute. Okay, but Layla, can you call Dandelion over here, please? I don't know why she keeps running away from the house. Is it because we're not giving you that much attention? I'm sorry. How are you feeling? Your energy is low, so why don't you go and... Oh, did we not assign this bed to you? Ask Dandelion to go to bed. We also have used the bowling alley caleb what are you doing with who's that carlos he's so tired you know what feed him quickly and then put him to sleep and then who else is awake you are also a little hungry layla do you want to come and sort out this child oh she's still angry about the flirty spouse thing okay this relationship between her and caleb it's so toxic like it was toxic before but this is a whole new level. I think we've got to do something about this, guys. I don't think this relationship is long lasting. And it's a shame because they have so many kids. <laughs> they have so many. Okay, you are being put to bed. You are so tired. You are already asleep. And then you are being fed. And then why don't you ask Layla to put you here? Okay, things are under control. Kids, it is two o'clock in the morning. Can you guys go to bed? A lot of you need showers. So some of you shower tonight and the rest of you can shower in the morning. Cadence, you go to bed. Oh, you and Laurie share this. I didn't even realize, but you two share the side, which is so cute. Oh, the ladder is facing the wrong way. Well, I'm gonna have to switch this around. Oh, you know what? That's kind of annoying because it would make more sense if it was on this side. Okay, we're gonna have to sell your bed, Laurie. Not Laurie. Cadence, I'm gonna get you guys' names confused all the time but then let's get your bed back and put it against this wall so the ladder shows up on this side okay nice kids go to bed let me assign this to you cadence and then you go to bed laurie you go back to sleep Coleman showering and then he's going to bed caleb is just hanging out with the kids he doesn't really need sleep why don't you have some more plasma packs cody you're hungry let's get the nanny to feed you oh my gosh dandelion why are you uncomfortable 
Your fun is poor. Yeah, let me get you a little ball to play with. Okay, Dandelion should be happy. Oh my gosh, it's almost like 5 a.m. already. Did I not tell you kids to go to bed? What is going on? You all have school tomorrow and you're gonna be so tired. Like, go to sleep. Oh, Coleman can't get to his bed either because of the same reason that Cadence couldn't. Okay. Let me do this again. And then I'm gonna assign this bed to you, Coleman. And now go to sleep, please. All right, all the kids are asleep. Oh, Caleb's being a great dad with Cody, who is very tired. And he wants attention, okay. Oh, and you're hungry, okay. Caleb, we don't have time for flashcards. Okay, the kids start school in an hour. They are so tired. Oh, wait, you know what? Not all of them. Coleman's a little tired. I'm gonna get you girls up to go and take a shower before school. We can't get you guys going to school stinking. So you go take a shower in that bathroom and then... Oh, you don't need a shower. You just need some food. There's trash on the ground. Great. Let's go and get some leftovers. Layla, when do you have work? You've got work in five hours. Okay, well, why don't you go and take a bath? And also get some leftovers. Now, I'm thinking, do we have to get married to uh, Zorin? Like, we're engaged, so I feel like we do have to get married. Like, I feel like that's a thing we've got to do. And you can't be married to two Sims at once. Oh, so does that mean we have to divorce Caleb? Like... I don't know. I'm a bit confused. It's a bit of a gray area. Maybe the wheel will help me out. I know I literally spun it like not long ago, but I just need a little bit of guidance, you know, and you guys aren't here with me right now. So the wheel is the next best thing, I guess. Okay, let's have a look. See, come on, wheel. Tell me what to do. I need some guidance. Ooh, ooh, no freaking way. Okay, I asked for guidance and the wheel answered. We've got to like divorce Caleb. Like, that's what we've got to do. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, Caleb, do you have work today? Maybe we should do it, like, somewhere else. We've been in the house all episode. Maybe we should go to, like, the, a bar or maybe go out to eat and, like, tell Caleb that we want a divorce. I think that's what we're gonna do. So you have work in 20... You have work very soon. You don't have a daily task. Interesting. And Layla has work in four hours. You know what, Caleb? Take the day off. This is more important than work. So we're gonna take a vacation day... And hopefully we will get this done in time just before Layla has to go to work. You're hungry. Let's go to a restaurant. And hopefully this restaurant like serves vampire food. That would be nice. I feel like not many restaurants do serve vampire food. And it's a little bit like a little bit of discrimination. I, I don't know how I feel. Oh, wait, I just realized I only have one restaurant in this save file. And that's the one in Tomerang I put in like episode one or episode two this one throwback memories of these two i think this is like the beginning of their relationship i believe or was it the blind date i can't remember and here is where things have to officially end oh and look at the weather wow look at it it's like perfect for what we've got to do today now let's get an indoor seat we're gonna request this table we're not getting anything romantic like the cute little seat we got last time okay our table's here right by the entrance so if any of you guys want to dip at any time you can we're going to order for the table i can't remember if this place has any vampire options i don't think it does oh okay Thai iced milk tea looks so good. So we'll get that for Layla. And Caleb, um, you know what? Can I change the options in build mode? Is that a thing that I can do? Okay, edit custom menu. So we're gonna add one more thing, which is gonna be a plasma Jane. And then I'm gonna add, is it an appetizer? The plasma fruit salad. Oh, it is. Okay, plasma fruit salad. Okay, so now Caleb can actually eat. Let's get back our Thai iced milk tea. And then Caleb, your Plasma Jane. And then your Plasma Fruit Salad. And then for Layla, oh, some barbecue ribs. Hell yeah. Okay, Layla, do you want to like sit down? She doesn't even want to sit with Caleb because she's so nervous. Maybe we should start off by talking about like reminiscing about our relationship. Express doubts about marriage. Let's not talk about your new upcoming marriage. Maybe we can complain about the weather. That's how awkward it is. They're talking about the weather. Oh, you're feeling flirty. Hot breakfast date. Caleb, I'm so sorry, but this little date is gonna end in heartbreak. Oh my gosh, and now Victor is calling up Layla's line. Look at her, she doesn't even wanna be here with Caleb. Layla literally has all the men on a leash. Like, wow. It's actually kind of impressive. Let's just let him know that we appreciate him and everything that he's done for us. And he's probably thinking, wait, why is 
she talking about this? Can we like reminisce on like wedding or something? Who put this dumb book in front of me? Why is Zorin talking to me? Why does he want to go on a date to the retail store? No. Oh, I should have spun that, but too late. Oh, our food is already here. That was so, so quick. Okay, well, oh, we didn't get any drinks. Okay, that's definitely a bug with dine out. Another one. And now they're just eating in silence. You know what? What are we going to do with the kids? Because if these two divorce and Caleb moves out, he'll probably move back with Lilith. Then we've got to spin what kids go with what parent. Because if we keep all the kids, we're going to get a bunch of money from child support. And I don't think that's fair because Caleb is a really good father and he doesn't deserve to not have his kids with him. So we're going to spin for each child who like which parent they will go with basically that's gonna be interesting oh the drinks came into vision <laughs> they're here that iced tea looks so delicious but okay once you're done we're gonna end the meal and pay bill and then we're gonna give him the news no caleb you cannot run away from this we're gonna divorce caleb i am so sorry but it's time oh he is so mad he's like you put me through the ringer you made me forgive you with victor you made me have triplets with you and now you're divorcing me after all of that would you say that layla and caleb have a difficult family dynamic yes very difficult okay and now we are officially divorced that's so sad the end of an era is here <gasps> no now they're divorced oh and layla saddened yeah it's disappointing to see a rift in this once strong relationship you said it layla layla wishes things were different and she wonders if caleb feels the same way that is such a shame i actually loved these two together but it is what it is, I guess. Okay, so I put all the kids on this wheel. And I've also got another wheel for just Caleb and Layla to see what kids go with what parent. I've never done something like this before, but I'm kind of intrigued. Like, I'm kind of excited. It's something new. It's something different. Even though it's really sad to see, like, some of the kids. Like, we're not going to see all of the kids grow up because they're going to be with Caleb. But we'll still invite them over and they can still hang out and whatever. You know, they'll still be in Layla's life, you know? But I just think this is fair on Caleb. I don't want him to seem like the enemy because he's not. And he deserves some custody of the children. Now, let's spin for the first child. Let's see, who is it going to be? Oh, Tyrone. Oh, we're, we're probably going to split up the triplets. Okay, which parent is Tyrone going with? Let's see. Ooh. <gasps> okay, Tyrone is staying with Layla. Okay, I'm gonna take his name off of the wheel. Let's see what child is next. <gasps> oh, is it another triplet? It is, it's Jacob. Okay, who is Jacob going with? I'm hoping it's with Layla so the triplets can stay together. Okay, Jacob is staying with Layla. Let me take him off of the wheel. Okay, who is gonna be next? maybe it's the last triplet <gasps> no it's lori oh my gosh lori i actually kind of don't want any of the kids to go because i'm gonna miss them so so much again they will still be in our life <gasps> oh my gosh lori is staying with layla is caleb gonna have any kids like is he <laughs> He might not, you know, we might end up keeping all of them. <gasps> okay, the last triplet, Carlos. Who is Carlos staying with? <gasps> is it gonna be... <gasps> oh my gosh, the triplets are staying together. Okay, so he is staying with Layla. Three more kids to go, I swear. If, <laughs> if Caleb gets no children. <gasps> okay, this time it's Cadence. And Cadence, who are you staying with? Let's see... Ooh, no, Cadence is staying with Caleb. <gasps> oh, I'm gonna miss her. We just got her as well. Okay, well, we've got two left. The two C's. Who's going to be next? Oh, it's Coleman. <gasps> okay, Coleman, our first born. Let's see, who are you staying with? I kind of hope Coleman stays with us. <gasps> and I think he's going to. Yeah, Layla. Oh my gosh. And now the last child is Cody. So I don't have to spin this wheel. I just have to spin the Layla and Caleb one. Who is Cody going with? 
No way. So Caleb is taking all of the adopted kids. That is so interesting. Well, okay, let's go home and say our goodbyes. And then we are going to move them out. Oh my gosh, Layla's gone to work. Oh my gosh. Maybe we should wait until she comes home. Well, while you're still here, Caleb, do you want to like say your final goodbyes to your kids? Especially the triplets who are on the floor. Guys, every time I leave, they end up on the floor. Like, why? Oh my gosh, look at their needs as well. What the heck? Nanny, what were you doing while we were gone? Okay, the triplets are just about being sorted out. Why are you crying? Oh, you're going to bed. You're asleep. You are, I think you're about to get fed. Dandelion, how are you doing? You're doing great. I don't even have to look after you. Oh, and the kids are home coleman is a b student and laurie is still a c and so is cadence <gasps> yeah you guys are gonna have to say bye to cadence again she will still be around she'll come over for holidays and stuff we can even plan stayovers so she will still be around she's just not gonna be living here i definitely think laurie and cadence were getting really close so it is a shame but it isn't bye forever they'll be back together again very soon yeah cadence was looking really sad but caleb's here to let her know that everything's gonna be fine she's gonna be moving into the vampire world and she's gonna have a good time it's gonna be her him cody and their aunt lilla so that's gonna be fun how is cody oh you need some sleep go get some rest you've got a long ways to go tonight you guys are gonna be traveling to forgotten hollow oh and layla's back home so we should probably say our goodbyes now cadence we'll see you soon okay honey don't worry be good be nice and have a good time with your father, okay? You can come over whenever you want. We can plan a stay over. You've always got a bed in your bedroom. Don't you worry. We're not getting rid of it. Let's say our goodbye to Cody. Cody, the same applies for you, okay? You're always welcome here. And you're like inside of Layla's hair. Oh, and Layla's getting so emotional. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry, guys, but it's gonna happen. Now, Caleb, let's get you guys moved out. Do you guys have anything that's personal to you? Do you have all of your vampire tomes? I think you might have one in the bookshelf. Yeah, you've got one in here. I don't think they do. Okay, well, it's officially time to go. We are going to split from household and move we've got to also split this money in half so caleb and cadence and cody and now our household is back to eight and in terms of money we're gonna give you two one six nine okay guys well this is it and they're moved out let's take a flight all the way to forgotten hollow with i don't know if lilith is the bigger or younger sister i think she might be the younger sister oh and we do have like quite a few bedrooms actually so you guys are gonna be living good we're gonna move in <gasps> And there we go. This is now the new Vitor family. And we're home. Oh, you're sad, Cody. I totally understand. Let me set you guys up with a little room. There are a lot of bedrooms. You know, I'll keep this bed for when Cody's a child. And then I will get a toddler bed out too. Okay, this is your new room. You get no sunlight. <laughs> All of the windows are covered because you live with two vampires. But at least your house is pretty big. Well, I'm gonna leave this video here. It was a pretty emotional one, a pretty crazy one actually. If you guys did end up enjoying this video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe if you're new. And I will see you guys in the next video.